Harper, yes. New York Times number one bestseller. Yes. And you have a couple of books that are out that are doing quite well. Well, these are the um, these are two of the books I've written, motivational books for teens, Letters to a Young Brother, Manifest Your Destiny, and Letters to a Young Sister, Define Your Destiny, and, and uh, but just been very blessed by them. They've both won multiple awards and, and been bestsellers, but most importantly, it's, it's, it's um, the help that hopefully mentorship on paper that they're giving teen boys and teen girls respectively. So very proud of these books, and hopefully, um, I had a brother come up to me yesterday here, he said, He's not a reader, but this is the first book he ever read, and now he's interested in reading more books. So hopefully this, these could be entry points for some of our young brothers and young sisters to get into reading books that are self-help oriented and helping them improve their lives. And like I was telling you before, 86400 is about taking some of those precious seconds and spending them reading a good book. Yes. As a child, can you tell us about a book that influenced you? Oh yes, yeah, so many books. Um, uh, James and the Giant Peach was a book that I loved when I was young. There's a book by Dan Millman called The Way of the Peaceful Warrior that I loved. I based the title of, of my first two books on the Rilke book called Letters to a Young Poet by uh, Rainer Murray Rilke, who was a German poet in the late 1800s. And so that, that book was very motivational, and, I, and that's why I based my title, Letters to a Young Brother and Letters to a Young Sister, off that title. And so there have been so many books that have changed and affected my life, and, and reading is so vital because it helps develop critical thinking skills and it's also something you do on your own. Most of the things that we do in this fast-paced world, we're, we're surrounded by other people, we're doing them with other people, we're watching games, we're on the phone, we're doing things. Reading, you do it by yourself, on your own, and it allows you time to think. And uh, it's just, you know, the ability to think and dream is critical, and reading, I think, is, relates to that. Well, great. You have such a positive uh, message, and I wish you continued success. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you. Thank you.